Charles Lingard, Ronaldo! Manchester United win! And Marcus Rashford is on his way! Manchester United, arguably one of the biggest clubs in modern day football, one of the richest not only in money but in history as well. Based in Old Trafford, Great Manchester, England, founded in 1878 under the name Newton Heath LYR Football Club, but the club would later on change its name 24 years later in 1902 to Manchester United. It hasn't changed since then. Eight years later, the club would also change stadiums, moving from Newton Heath to its current stadium, Old Trafford, in 1910. United have managed a very impressive trophy record in the past centennial, having won a record 20 league titles, 12 FA Cups, 5 League Cups and a record 21 FA Community Shield. They have won the European Cup and the UEFA Champions League three times, the UEFA Europa League, the UEFA Club Winners' Cup, the UEFA Super Cup, the Intercontinental Cup and the FIFA Club World Cup have all been won once each. In 1968, under the management of Matt Busby. Ten years after eight of the club's players were killed in the Munich air disaster, they became the first English club to win the European Cup. Sir Alex Ferguson, the club's longest serving and most successful manager, winning 38 trophies including 13 league titles, 5 FA Cups and 2 UEFA Champions League titles between 1986 and 2013. 1998-99 season under Ferguson, the club became the first in the history of English football to achieve the European treble of the Premier League, FA Cup and the UEFA Champions League. And in winning the UEFA Europa League under manager Jose Mourinho in the 2016-17 season, they became one of five clubs to have won the original three main UEFA club competitions, the Champions League, Europa League and the Club Winners' Cup. After his success with the Scottish club Aberdeen, who managed to break Rangers and Celtic's domination in Scotland, in doing so, leading the team to numerous titles in his eight seasons with the club. And so in came a man who knew how to win titles, to a team hungry for success. When he joined United in 1986, the team hadn't won a title since 1967, and he knew that this could not continue. But this wouldn't change so easily, as improvement under Ferguson wouldn't come until his second season in charge, after bringing in new signings to strengthen the club, with the likes of Brian McLaren in the summer and Steve Bruce in December. The United would finish the season second, nine points behind champions Liverpool. Coming in second was not a trophy, but this was definitely a sign of things to come. And after almost four years without a trophy, Ferguson would finally win his first title with the club in form of the FA Cup final replay after a 1 0 win over Crystal Palace. Lee Martin from left back, an inspired run on the far side. A chance here and a goal! We can go on and on about the trophies that Manchester United have won under Ferguson. Although it wasn't easy, but he still managed to get the job done. United's success has never been measured based on just goals and wins alone but were considered as a family whose love and care seemed boundless, all because of one man, Sir Alex Ferguson. His presence in the team was above all the laurels and trophies that they had. It was more about the undying love and passion towards the game, because of which he created a massive connection between team and fans. Although, same can't be said for the managers who followed. In 2014, David Moyes was sacked as Manchester United manager after just 10 months in the club. The squad had impossible tactics of succeeding Sir Alex Ferguson, who had just enjoyed a 26-year success in the club. Ferguson had recommended the Red Devils to appoint Moyes upon his retirement and was awarded a six-year contract in July of 2013. With 27 wins and 15 losses in 51 games with United, who had just won the Premier League previously, Moyes was sacked. 
The club was sitting in 7th place in the table as at the time of his departure, a distance away from the Champions League, which under Ferguson was unthinkable. He only managed to win the FA Community Shield with Manchester United. There were no real significant highlights in Van Gaal's time in charge of Manchester United. Aside of 4th and 5th place finish in his two seasons in charge and an FA Cup triumph in his second, with 103 matches played, 54 wins, 25 losses and 24 draws and we see him get sucked days after winning the FA Cup. Former Chelsea man Jose Mourinho was brought in to replace Van Gaal at the club in May of 2016 with many eyebrows being raised over his appointment owing to his strong allegiance with United's Stamford Bridge rivals Chelsea. Nevertheless, his 2016-17 campaign represented the most success in a single campaign that Manchester United have had since Sir Alex Ferguson left the club. Completing a treble success, Jose Mourinho would guide his men to an FA Community Shield, League Cup and Europa League win that in one season. Mourinho would fail to win any trophies during his 2017-18 season though his team would earn a second place finish in the Premier League, their highest since the 2012-13 season. But fortunately, things were soon to fall apart for the special one, as he was relieved of his duties in December of 2018, after a disappointing run of results, leaving him sixth in the 2018-19 season. Jose Mourinho would have 144 matches with Manchester United, recording 84 wins, 29 losses, 31 draws, and 3 trophies to his name, the best since Alex Ferguson. United are a long, long way behind. Well, they've got that sinking feeling once again. Manchester United. United are, are an elite club. You look at the other teams in the Premier League at the moment, they've got elite managers. What they do need is an elite manager. Manchester United's collective misery. It's a way back for Solskjaer now. The scrutiny was intense. The questions loud. The performance woeful. Whilst the players on the pitch unquestionably let down their manager, it was Oli who paid the price. I feel for the fans and I feel with the fans and I'm, I feel the, the same as them. It's uh, We're embarrassed losing uh, the way we do. We know we've been, we are in a, in a very bad run, a bad situation. And then sometimes you've got to say sorry and that was a, a sorry for the uh, performance. How low are you feeling right now? Well, I'm very, to put it that way. Appreciate your time, Oli. Cheers. Thank you. Thanks, Gary. Oli Solskjaer will return to the club as caretaker manager under the departure of Jose Mourinho in December of 2018, but will later on be appointed on permanent base on March of 2019 and later on depart from the club on November of 2021, leaving the club in seventh at the time of his departure. In all his time with Manchester United as manager, he would have 168 games with 91 wins, 40 losses and 37 draws. Solskjaer's overall record against the traditional big six of Manchester City, Liverpool, Chelsea, Arsenal and Tottenham is mixed with 14 wins, 10 draws and 12 losses. His win rate of 39% in these games is higher than Jose Mourinho, considerably higher than Moyes, but lower than Luis Van Gaal. We would also like to highlight the big names that did come into the club under the regime of Ole Gunnar Solskjaer in the form of Cristiano Ronaldo, Jadon Sancho and Rafael Varane. The poor performance of the club has reflected in the way they have changed managers since Ferguson retired. While it is true that different managers bring different ideals and strategies to the team, the continued struggle of Manchester United is pointed towards the problem of set strategy. As seen with the managers followed after Ferguson, United have failed to find a particular form of play and as a result have become a shadow of Ferguson's United. And the question is, can Manchester United return to their former glory under new management in the form of Eric Ten Hag, who was proven to be an uncompromising manager, with Ten Hag enforcing a more aggressive type of play, with attack being the best form of defence, as seen in their recent Carabao Cup triumph against Aston Villa 4-2. He utilizes more of his younger players and uses the veterans as a lesson for the younger ones to follow as he has shown frequently from time to time that he is above each and every single one of the players in this club, including the GOAT, Cristiano Ronaldo. But how long can Manchester United go without a trophy, with their last trophy dating back to Jose Mourinho's 2016-17 season? 
and always falling short of making it to the Champions League and losing out to their neighbours Manchester City in the league. Manchester United hasn't found it easy winning trophies, neither have they found it easy winning their league. Manchester United under Eric Ten Hag have brought a new light to fans and have given them some sort of hope for the future. But will Ten Hag be the man to restore Manchester United's glory to its former ways? We create the world of the dream. We bring the subject into that dream and they fill it with their secrets. Then you break in and steal it. Well, it's not strictly speaking legal. It's called Inception. Already. I think I found a way home. And this last job, that's how I get there. Dreams feel real while we're in them. It's only when we wake up that we realize something is actually strange. Control.